The grounds? That at 13 years old, Lionel had not been competent to stand trial in the adult criminal court system. In September 2003, the case made its way to a federal appeals court in West Palm Beach. Three months later, the court handed down its ruling. Lionel Tate's competency, it said, had not been evaluated prior to his trial. Therefore, he should be granted a new trial. To avoid yet another emotional trial, prosecutor Ken Padowitz again offered a plea bargain to Lionel Tate. The deal called for Tate to plead guilty to second-degree murder. In exchange for the three years in prison, he had already served one year of house arrest and ten years probation. It was the same exact plea offer that I had engineered three years earlier. Lionel Tate had a second bite at the apple. This time, Tate, now a tall, thin 16-year-old, accepted the offer. On January 26, 2004, he was released into his mother's custody. To both those who had supported Tate and many of those who had helped convict him, his release was a welcome end to a tragedy that nearly claimed a second life. At Tate's formal sentencing three days later, Tiffany Eunuch's mother, Deweese, addressed Lionel in court. I firmly believe in God, and I believe in forgiveness. I so much believe in God and forgiveness that I have forgiven you, Lionel, for brutally murdering my daughter. As for Lionel Tate himself, while free from prison, those closest to him say he will forever be burdened with the knowledge that he was responsible for Tiffany's death. He thinks about Tiffany every day. He thought about her every day when he was locked in the jail cell, and he'll think about her every day for the rest of his life. A lot of us have questions. How does he get to do the normal things that teenagers do? Unfortunately, because of the way this, this case played out, Lionel Tate's name is one that is going to be recognized, and he is under huge amounts of pressure. It's a big burden for a young kid to, to carry. Cases like Lionel Tate's have triggered efforts to reform the juvenile justice system in several states. In Florida, one bill would have given young offenders serving life sentences a chance at parole after eight years. That measure died in hearings. In May 2000,